Hello, my name is Paul Plato and I am the college chaplain at Emmanuel Bible College. And today I just wanted to bring another student tip to you. This one's called the rule of life. So what is the rule of life? St. Benedict uh, was widely considered the founder of modern monasticism uh, back 1500 years ago. So for 15 centuries, his rule of life has been used. Uh, it's considered a moderate path between individual zeal and, and formulaic institutionalism or a very formal, rigid monasticism. Hence its popularity over the ages. So there's a translation that is, is available for free. I'll drop the, this link into the comments uh, or into the description of the video. So how do you start with this? I, a simple way is to just consider m the many spiritual disciplines uh, that you could be doing, such as reading scripture, praying, fasting, perhaps uh, times of silence, Lectio Divina, prayer of examine, uh, retreats, attending church, observing Christian holidays like Lent and Advent, uh, nature walks, acts of service, any, any of the above. So what I did was look at my top four sacred pathways. I, I took the, self, the free self-study or self-assessment and determined which, which ones were the most reasonable for me, different ways that I prefer to appreciate, to, ex to approach and worship God. And, uh, you know, made sure that I had, that there were disciplines that fed all four of them. So I'll have further videos on spiritual disciplines, uh, sacred pathways, prayer of examine, and future videos. So my top pathways were, were intellectual, ascetic, naturalist, and caregiver in that order. And finally, I looked at some time frames, so daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. So initially, I tried to cram in too many things too frequently. So I suggest you try to start out a little bit more modestly. You can always add to things. So this was an example. This was my uh, rule of life that I developed for part of a, a course at Tyndale that I was taking on spiritual formation. So I love Excel. Um, I use it for all kinds of things, but you can handwrite this, you can use Word, you can use Google Docs, whatever you wish. Uh, I struggle still to maintain this, so I assume I I still have probably more things on here than I'm comfortable doing. But you can see daily um, uh, devotions. I, my goal is to have a moment, you know, five minutes of silence every day, uh, prayers in the morning and evening. Uh, weekly, you know, Lectio Divina. Divina is a way of looking deeply at a passage. Uh, weekly Bible study, uh, attending church, uh, prayer of examine where you examine, you know, God examine my heart. Uh, nature walks, grandchild duties, monthly I try to have some kind of fast, although with my diabetes I have to be a little careful there. Uh, but there's other ways of fasting, not just from food. Uh, yearly I, I would like to plan a retreat every year, just a, a silent retreat by myself. Uh, observing Lent I'd like to do a better job at and uh, Advent observance. So that's just mine, probably a little, still a little ambitious. But, uh, you know, get a start at it. So I mean, you may find this a little bit monkish, the whole rule of life and, and St. Benedictine and monasteries, but it's a good exercise to see how spiritual disciplines can be scheduled. So don't be discouraged. You may want to start and stop it or be too ambitious with the scope initially as I was. Uh, so I put an Excel spreadsheet of, with my own rule of life, if you want to see a sample, uh, for Emmanuel Bible College students. It's in the Chaplain's Corner file folder in Poppy Leaf. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.